Visit the 10,000 acre D River Ranch in West Central Alabama and you'll find a diverse family operation. Annie D and her brother Mike worked the ranch together with help from Annie's son Seth, her husband Ed, and their crew. Their livelihood depends on the care they give their 650 cows and their 3,500 acres of cropland. We run a commercial cow-calf operation. We have Brahma Angus cross cattle. We have some purebred Brahmas that we use for seed stock. We get along great and we complement each other in the things that we do. We're trying to do a great job. We're trying to improve all the time. We try to work with people that'll help us improve. D River Ranch was founded in Florida, but with development pressure there, the family sold the original ranch to the state of Florida as part of the Save the Rivers program. Then they moved to Alabama to create the current operation in 1989. This is home. I love it. I don't care if I ever live anywhere else. I like to travel, but this is where I want to be and where I want to spend the rest of my life. It's just the neatest place I've ever been. To have the opportunity to work with my sister, we're, we're committed to each other. We're committed to this land and to the farm, and it's, it's neat to know that when I'm out there working hard, I can turn around and somebody's working just as hard as I am. Though drought is a problem now, under normal rainfall, the D River Ranch is at risk for erosion. So the Dees have taken steps to save the soil and protect water resources. They've worked with NRCS to help improve their grazing management and to install GPS systems for precision agriculture. As a matter of fact, last year they had the, the annual uh, precision ag field day here on, on Dee Farm. And uh, you know, we brought a lot of folks in to look at what's being done out here with, with, with new technology. The way I like to look at them is that they're, they're kind of like point farmers. They, people point to them for their ideas and what they're doing. and uh, Each year we usually have a field day here. Last year we had one that had over 300 people attend. And I think many of these people just wanted to see what Annie and Mike were doing because they are innovative. D River Ranch has been very cooperative in sharing their production uh, techniques and ideas with area ranchers. And the things that are successful here translates to other areas of the county and the state too. For land the cattle are on, the Dees have added high traffic and heavy use areas to avoid mud and erosion. We've come back in and put erosion control geotextile fabric and then we've put large stone to hold that fabric down and then small stone to make it conducive for cattle to handle, to walk across that and make it easier for them. And that has been, that's been able to help us move cattle through those high traffic areas and, and congregation areas. To protect their most fragile lands, the Dees placed 4,000 acres in the Conservation Reserve Program, planting 600 of those acres to trees. Traditionally, I'm not a tree hugger, but I think I am a great steward of the land, and I'm trying to protect what we have and protect the land and the water, keep it from eroding away. NRCS has been able to come in and help us do some things that we know is the right way to manage this land, to give us some guidance and some assistance in doing some things to protect these fragile areas. Their CRP land has enhanced habitat for wildlife, including white-tailed deer and other species. The Dees are also cooperating with the University of Alabama's Rural Medical Scholars Program, bringing doctors in training to the ranch to gain an understanding of agriculture. I like to show them the combine and the sprayer and the cattle operation and just give them a feel for things that are going on so if somebody shows up at their office and they've had an accident, they have a little bit of understanding about how that could happen. With the stewardship of Annie and Mike D, the land under their care is healthier, their cattle herd is growing, and their effort to make D River Ranch a sustainable operation for the future is on track. D River Ranch is my life. The crops, the cattle, the land, they're not just a job to us, it's our life. We, we're not trying to look at how this crop is going to come out. We're going to look at how we can make the next 10 crops or how we can live here and how our cattle operation is going to grow. I wake up every morning thinking, thank the Lord that I can get up and go to work. We want to make sure that the place is better than we got it and we leave it better than we found it. We know we don't really own this land. We just get to be here for a period of time and we're interested in the water and the soil, the land. We want to make sure that the next folks have a better opportunity even than we have. Mm -hmm.